health food shops here in the south you might have bought a bar made by my next guest foodie friday star susie walker from the primal kitchen welcome along hello susie tell us all about this paleo lifestyle what is it um it's something that's growing very very fast it's um very very popular in the states and australia it's but it's really simple it's pretty much going back to the way our bodies are designed to eat so meat veg fish fruits nuts and seeds um, none of the modern day foods such as grains and vegetable oils and soya beans and um, refined sugars. Right. So essentially all of the really good stuff that yeah. we know is really good and really natural and none of the processed stuff exactly. that we know kind of isn't really that good for exactly us, don't that. we? So is this part of this caveman diet It thing? is, yeah. The caveman, the caveman diet is just another, is another term for it. So whether it's Paleolithic, Stone Age, caveman, clean eating that there's loads of ways of referring to it and there's actually quite a few ways of doing it everyone that attempts it does it in a different way the five two thing that we uh, that was quite popular maybe about a year or so ago wasn't it maybe at its peak yes that, that was the idea of that we would we would fast yes because we would have been waiting or hunting for food and then we would feast that's and, right and does that does this fit in with that is this something it, that you would just do a couple of days or would you do this all the time you do this you you, you would ideally do this all the time mm. the five two is more of a timing of food whereas this is more of the the type of food right instead the two would go hand in hand very well together um, but people don't seem to do it that way. But well, if paleo means you get to eat every day, yeah. that's all right by <laughs> me. So how long have you lived a paleo life? Uh, about two years. OK, and how's about it going? About two years. Very well. Well, you look very, very well. well. Thank you. And Thank what you made you much. decide to change? I, um, I spent about 12 years in the food industry, some of the big brands out there, and then trained in nutrition. Mm -hmm. And through consulting with nutrition clients, we've tried various things, researched various ways of eating and various ways of living your life. And it became apparent that a, a paleo approach or a primal approach was, was something that was a good base for most people, depending on what they were coming in for, for. So whether it was to lose weight, sports nutrition, digestive health, hormone balance, it was always a good, a good starting point to work with. And what difference has it made to you? Oh goodness! Uh, well, I, I, the, the one of the food companies I worked at I was only there for six months, and I was eating a product that they made every day, which we would consider an extremely healthy product, or should I say, drinking it, um, and put on a stone, and that's what opened my eyes up to nutrition. So, so weight loss is is, is easy doing the paleo diet, provided you um, you enjoy food. Do you get hungry? No, not at all. Is that because your your blood you, sugars are really? Yes, exactly that. So you're eating if you if you eat meat then um, you'll find that foods that are high in protein and high, naturally high in fats will fill you up. You know, you, you, um, you mentioned, you know, casually mentioned a banana. Well, a banana is, is a paleo food, but it's something that probably makes you hungry very quickly. So it's, it's, it's the groups of foods and the types of foods that you actually eat. So how did Primal Kitchen get started then? You'd, you'd clearly been working for others. Was this a decision to work for yourself? Yes, yes. So I'd, I'd missed the food. In, I did miss working in the food industry. I was seeing nutrition clients. And, and the big key thing that came about was, you know, it's easy to have eggs for breakfast, salad and meat for lunch and fish for dinner, but I don't know what to do for a snack. Mm. Um, and I tried to make, and I was feeding my daughter snacks at the same time. And I was making um, pretty much nuts blended with some fruit in a blender into little balls feeding them to her tried them on a few clients they said it was great you should do something with this and um it it, it all started last summer really the ideas behind it and it seems as though, I mean, we've been having a look at some of your bars today and you may have seen them if you go to various health food shops or gyms in the South. It looks um, it looks as though lots of time has been put into making it visually very attractive because it's quite a crowded marketplace, isn't it? And, this, and I say in inverted commas, the health food bar, yes. a lot of it being cereal with a lot of sugar in it. Yes. Yeah, it's everything happened very fast. We... Myself and my business partners decided sort of last October we, we're going to do this. Um, we're going to do it properly and we're going to aim for, for gyms and, and stores and health food shops. And we, we've got two designers that help design it. And the, the key premise of everything is keeping it simple. And that's what we've done because there's, there's, there's products out there and there's packaging out there that's overcomplicated. Um, the bars have only got four ingredients in. Um, it's just keeping it really, really simple. And how do you maintain the shelf life then if you're then making more and more to be bought by bigger retailers who might want to buy thousands? Yes. Um, at the beginning, the challenge was selling out. We sold out quite quickly. Yeah. The actual ingredients used, so dried fruit and nuts, have a, have a standard shelf life of about up to two years themselves. Great. So the, 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 bars, the bars have about nine months on them. Um, 
so the shelf life the shelf life's not been an issue it's it's keeping up with the what we didn't expect was the demand for um, it and the bars themselves are quite small i mean they're smaller than a standard they, they, they look a little bit smaller than a standard cereal bar, or maybe about the same size as a cereal bar. Obviously, a bit heavier yeah. because they're not just, you know, grain and air yeah. and sugar, as you say. Uh, but they're, they're certainly smaller than a standard chocolate bar. Um, do, how, how much will they fill you up? Could a man eat one of them and yes, be of satisfied? Course. Yes, of course. Definitely. Because Even they a big are, man. They are just, you might have two. Um, <laughs> they, are, they are just nuts and almond oil and some fruit. You know, a lot of the, some of the larger bars are just oats and honey. So that's, that's a carbohydrate that's going to fill you up for a short period of time and make you hungry again. Mm. Um, and some of the other snack bars are actually a bit smaller as well. So I think one of the things as well it, with, with nuts is that um, nuts are very good for you, aren't they, in the right quantity? Yes. And too many of them is, is not such a great thing if it's not part of a balanced diet, as you say. And the temptation can be there if you have a big bag of mixed nut and fruit to have too, too much. Many. So how do you work well, out the, the sizing? Obviously, it's measured out, so you've got 45 mm. grams of it. Um, but we, it's, it's, it will vary depending on the person. If someone's, if someone's working out and training every day, then a couple of bars isn't, isn't going to do any harm. If someone's trying to lose weight, then it needs to be taken into consideration because it's, it's still an energy bar at the end of the day. The snack thing is so is so interesting that you should say that because I, I think many people may be in that Jekyll and Hyde kind of diet whereby on the times when they can be good and plan, they're really good and really sensible and they really want to be. But then it's when they're caught out between two meetings, got to pick up the kids, still got to get to here to do that by that time. Oh, I'm not going to do it and I'm starving. Then what can you grab? And most of the stuff that's on offer is just junk, isn't yeah. it? Yes, that's the, that's yeah, the, the truth, bars, unfortunately. Yeah, and so do you find then that, that are you likely to branch this out into any other kind of um, product or are you just going to stick with the bars for now? We, we've got a few ideas up the sleeve, definitely. We've got some focus on, some, on kids as well. I've had a lot of feedback from mums. Um, we're certainly branching out. The biggest, the biggest thing we, we've, we've had feedback from is to, to actually get into more stores mm -hmm. and be in more places. We actually um, are supporting Superdrug and launching in their healthy snacks category. We go into 240 Superdrug stores on Monday. Wow. Um, and obviously on a cardo as well. So it's this it's, must feel like a dream come true. It is, it's this very, is like a dragon's den yeah. story. <laughs> everything's moving very fast, and it's um, it's launched in South Africa because they they've noticed the paleo trend over there, as well as some European countries because it's it's the sports market as well. So, so you're but, really um, not even a year on then, are you? No, it's it's from a trading perspective five months in. My goodness, how does it feel? Do you pinch yourself and think crumbs? Yeah. This is a big deal. Very much so. Um, it doesn't feel real some days. Well, I think you've done so well. You've clearly Thank worked you really much. hard. And what about the family? How, how, what does your daughter think? Is she still chief taster? Yeah, she loves them. She, she, she pink bar and yellow bar is what she calls them. Right, very good. Um, <laughs> and she, she loves the fourth one we've got coming out. We have, a, we have a special one coming out in September. Right, well, we shall watch this space to, to find out more that about is. that. I always ask my Foodie Friday guests uh, what one thing we should try over the weekend. If we try and be a bit paleo over the weekend, what should we try? Oh, I'd go for two cooked breakfasts Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. But, it, but it's breakfast without the beans and the bread. You know, it's the good quality sausage, the good quality bacon and the good quality scrambled eggs. They're the best bits anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's really great to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you for very being much. my Foodie Friday guest. Thank Foodie you for Friday me. starring Susie Walker from the Primal Kitchen. You can find out more about her online.